Good morning and welcome to our communion service on this Mothering Sunday. So congratulations to all mothers, gr grandmothers, great-grandmothers, godmothers, foster mothers and adoption mothers and everyone who looks and cares for others. So let us indeed celebrate the motherly love that is in us today. So I'd like to greet you with the following words. Grace, mercy and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ be with you and also with you. And together we say, Almighty God, to whom all hearts are open, all desires known, and from whom no secrets are hidden, cleanse the thought of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Mothering Sunday is straight in the middle of the season of Lent. Let us continue our journey towards Easter. And one of the things that we are invited to do during this season is to, to look into our lifestyle, our discipleship, and how we could live a life that is closer to God's will. So let us now make our, our, uh, our repentance, that we may ask for God's forgiveness. The sacrifice as God is a broken spirit, a broken and contrite heart God will not despise. Let us come to the Lord who is full of compassion and acknowledge our transgressions in penitence and faith. We confess to you our selfishness and lack of love. Lord, have mercy. We confess to you our fear and failure in sharing our faith. Christ, have mercy. We confess to you our stubbornness and lack of trust. Lord, have mercy. And may the Father of all mercies cleanse you from your sins and restore you in his image to the praise and glory of his name through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us pray. God of compassion, whose son Jesus Christ, the child of Mary, shared the life of a home in Nazareth and on the cross drew the whole human family to himself. Strengthen us in our daily living, that in joy and in sorrow we may know the power of your presence, to bind together and to heal, through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Hear the Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Standing near the cross of Jesus were his mother and his mother's sister, Mary, the wife of Clopas, and Mary Magdalene. When Jesus saw his mother and the disciple whom he loved standing beside her, he said to his mother, Woman, here is your son. And then he said to the disciple, Here is your mother. And from that hour, the disciple took her into his own home. This is the gospel of our Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. That I may speak in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. My dear friends, last Wednesday, it was the first time in my life that I planted a tree. It is worrying that I have lived nearly 60 years without making a contribution to the environment in this way. And when I say that I planted the tree, I should nuance it by saying that I helped planting a tree. It was in particular Jane who did most of the work and had the expertise which I didn't have. 
So last Wednesday, on the day of reflection, exactly two years after the first lockdown, we brought new life to St. Mary's churchyard by planting a mountain ash on the spot where two years ago a tree came down on a stormy morning. The ash was planted in memory of a young man who passed away about a year ago. The tree will still be there when the man's parents and siblings are no longer on this earth and in this way will become for his family and a symbol of life beyond death. The conversation between Jane and I while we were digging was about the tools we should have had and how thick the roots are in that spot and why we should have dug a bit further. But Jane didn't want to give up and encouraged by a few bystanders, we managed to make the pit deep and wide enough for this tree. During our manual work, we not only talked about garden tools, but also about family and children. I noticed that Jane, a mother, spoke with warmth and pride about her son. She remembered me of my mother, who always wanted to know how her children were doing, if they needed anything, and how she could help. When, as a young priest, I was asked by the bishop to fulfil my theology degree abroad, my mum's first question was, but who will do your washing? I always remember her words as her way of saying that she regretted that when I live at a distance, she won't be able to offer the help she was used to give. She asked a very basic question, but it was full of love. Well, today, on this Mothering Sunday, we give thanks for our mums, those who are with us and those who are no longer here, for their love and care. They may not have planted a tree, but they have planted the seed of love in their children's hearts. If we honour our mums, we will also let the love that they planted in us grow and flourish and recognise where this motherly love comes from and therefore give thanks to God for our mums who mirror his love. Amen.
now profess our faith. We believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all that is seen and unseen. We believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternally begotten of the Father, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, of one being with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us and for our salvation he came down from heaven, was incarnate from the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary, and was made man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried. On the third day he rose again in accordance with the Scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. We believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is worshipped and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. We believe in one holy, catholic and apostolic church. We acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. We look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. And let us pray. Each bidding ends with the words, God of love, hear our prayer. These prayers today pick up themes from Mary's song, The Magnificent, where Mary was expressing her delight in her unexpected pregnancy. Let us pray. Gracious Father, on this Mothering Sunday, we give thanks for the unique privilege of having children to bring up. We feel so unprepared, we feel such a responsibility, we often feel so overwhelmed. Help us to rest in the knowledge that we could be asked to do no more important thing than to love, guide and nurture a new life. In doing this, we are sharing in your divine activity of loving, guiding and nurturing the whole human race. And so we pray with Mary, My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord, and my spirit rejoices in God my Saviour. God of love, hear our prayer. We pray for mothers everywhere, for young mothers overawed by the task and by the depth of their feelings. All the mothers thrilled beyond measure that a child has come, for mothers who are single, scared and poor, for mothers in many developing countries where food for them and their children is scarce, and for the mothers in our twinning parish in Namalampa in Uganda. Hasten the day when mothers everywhere can say with Mary, The Mighty One has done great things for me, and holy is his name. God of love, hear our prayer. We pray for fathers everywhere, young fathers unsure how to be a father and a husband or partner. Fathers in poorer countries wondering how to provide for their children. For fathers in the Western world, leaving home too early and coming home too late to share these special years. Hasten the day when fathers everywhere can say, His mercy is for those who fear him from generation to generation. God of love, hear our prayer. And we pray for couples everywhere who are with our children, those who have made the choice and are happy, for those who have not made that choice and are seeking help and waiting anxiously month by month. Those who are trying to adopt and going through a long process, those who have dedicated their life to the care of others. Hasten the day when all who want children can say, He has shown strength with his arm and lifted up the lowly. 
God of love, hear our prayer. A Ukrainian mother wrote this prayer this week. God of all comfort, be present with all the mothers, fathers, grandparents and children who are hiding. Warm them, fill them with food, give them water, toilets, communication with their loved ones, the gospel and hope in you. We repent of making idols of political leaders and news outlets. Forgive us for wanting them to be our gods and saviors. Forgive us for not wanting to admit the good and bad in all of our leaders. It is in this spirit that leads us to dictators because we abandon responsibility and reason. We confess the seeds of war that live in our own hearts and we ask for mercy. Thank you that you love mercy and have all power. So may we all come to say with Mary, my soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord and my spirit rejoices in God my Saviour. God of love, hear our prayer. Almighty God, you have promised to hear our prayers, so grant that we have what we have asked in faith we may by your grace receive through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Jesus says, Peace I leave with you, my peace I give to you. Do not let your hearts be troubled, neither let them be afraid. And the peace of the Lord be always with you, and also with you. So let us offer one another a sign of peace. Lord Jesus, you became obedient unto death for us. By your wounds we are healed. Worthy are you, Lamb that was slain for us. Let us now together make our spiritual offering. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to, do, to your disciples, I am with you always. Be with me today as I offer myself to you. Hear my prayers for others and for myself, and keep me in your care. Amen. The Lord be with you, and also with you. Lift up your hearts, we lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give thanks and praise. It is indeed right and good to give thanks and praise, Almighty God and Everlasting Father, through Jesus Christ, your Son. For in these forty days you lead us into the desert of repentance, that through a pilgrimage of prayer and discipline we may grow in grace and learn to be your people once again. Through fasting, prayer and acts of service you bring us back to your generous heart. Through study of your holy word you open our eyes to your presence in the world and free our hands to welcome others into the radiant splendour of your love. As we prepare to celebrate the Easter feast with joyful hearts and minds, we bless you for your mercy and join with saints and angels forever praising you and saying, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Accept our praises, Heavenly Father, through your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. And as we follow his example and obey his command, 
grant that by the power of your Holy Spirit, these gifts of bread and wine may be to us his body and his blood, who in the same night that he was betrayed, took bread and gave you thanks. He broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take, eat, this is my body which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way, after supper, he took the cup and gave you thanks. He gave it to them, saying, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of, my, of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. And therefore, Heavenly Father, we remember his offering of himself made once for all upon the cross. We proclaim his mighty resurrection and glorious ascension. We look for the coming of your kingdom. And with this bread and this cup, we make the memorial of Christ, your Son, our Lord. Great is the mystery of faith. Christ has died. Christ is risen. Christ will come again. Accept through him, our great high priest, this our sacrifice of thanks and praise. And as we eat and drink these holy gifts in the presence of your divine majesty, renew us by your spirit. Inspire us with your love and unite us in the body of your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. And through him, and with him, and in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, with all who stand before you in earth and heaven, we worship you, Father Almighty, in songs of everlasting praise. Blessing and honour and glory and power be yours for ever and ever. Amen. And let us now pray with confidence, as our Saviour has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory for ever and ever. Amen. Jesus, Lamb of God, have mercy on us. Jesus, bearer of our sins, have mercy on us. Jesus, redeemer of the world, grant us peace. God of life, I thank you for your Son, Jesus Christ, and for the pain he has borne for me. As I follow his example of prayer and fasting, but cannot receive you sacramentally, I ask you to come spiritually to me. May I obey you with a willing heart and serve my neighbour in holy love. Amen. Loving God, as a mother feeds her children at the breast, you feed us in this sacrament with the food and drink of eternal life. Help us who have tasted your goodness to grow in grace within the household of faith through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And may I invite you to say with me the prayer after communion. God of our pilgrimage, you have fed us with your word of life. Refresh and sustain us as we go forward on our journey. In the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. And a blessing for Lent. Christ, give you grace to grow in holiness. 
to deny yourselves, take up your cross and follow him. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit be among you and remain with you always. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. In the name of Christ. Amen. I wish you all an enjoyable celebration of this festival, special one, thinking of our own mums and also giving thanks for uh, everyone who looks after other people and care for them. So all the best, have a good week and all being well, we see each other again. Bye bye.